Hi, and welcome to I Do Wheelie. On today's episode, I'd like to share my further thoughts on the S22 and what's good and bad about this wheel. Now this is more of a case of pointing out where this wheel fries and where it's lacking. And here's a good example, the S22 is perfectly suited for this terrain. So where is this wheel lacking? Well, it's no fun to push around a shop. With the trolley handle mounted so far in front, it's a real trouble trying to keep it steady while navigating around people. The lights also deserve a dishonorable mention. It's not that they're bad, they're just too good. You can't use them without blinding oncoming traffic or other pedestrians. My only other gripe is the turning circle. Compared to other wheels I've tried, it's really not very good at all. But that's what's giving it such good stability and speed. Anyway, back to the strong points of the S22. One of those points is the rim. It's super durable and looks like it'll last. This is a big deal for anyone who wants to jump their wheel or ride it on rough terrain. No one wants a buckled rim. Another really cool feature is three different settings for pedal height. Also an option to have them further back or further forward depending on your riding preference. The kickstand is also a nice touch. It's very stable and very useful. And of course, if you've been watching my channel, you know I have to talk about seated riding. And the S22 is actually a very good seated ride, quite comfortable. Unfortunately, it does make the digital screen pretty much useless when riding. Either sat on it or standing over it, you don't really see it unless you're off the wheel. Which brings me to the torque pads. They're not actually that bad. I know a lot of people have been complaining about the stock pads, but I personally have quite enjoyed using them so far. Although, it's fair to say, I rode my MCM5 for a year and a half with no pads, so it's a new experience for me. And now to talk about the suspension, which has the largest travel out of any suspension on the market right now. We have two settings to play with, compression, soft and hard, and rebound, fast and slow. And all these variable settings, whether it be suspension or pedals, isn't what drew me to this wheel, as you can set it up perfect for yourself. That means the only thing I've had to buy is a light that works a little less well than the stock ones. Anyway, to give you a better idea of what I'm talking about, here's a close up of my wheel. As you can see, I've mounted the light to the grab handle. I've also put the stock pedals forward and I've played with the softness and hardness setting on the suspension. Other than that, I haven't done much else to it. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this.